Hey Rumbug World Entertainment and Star Wars Outlaws is getting absolutely blasted online, as is its developer, Ubisoft. Because one of the things they've highlighted in the trailer was Jabba the Hutt. And of course, Jabba's palace and we see Han Solo and Carbonite on the wall and everything else. But it turns out, oh, you want to play the Jabba the Hutt missions? Yeah, that's paywalled. So you need to pay to play. And people have had an absolute backlash to this. Thinking, you know, why are you highlighting this mission? You Even at the end of your main trailer when you have the kind of breakdown of the game part with the developers and stuff, that mission gets highlighted again. And then it turns out it's behind a paywall. Well, Ubisoft has responded to this by essentially telling you, oh, don't worry, there's other Jabba missions, so you don't actually need to play this one. But you want to play this one, don't you? It's the bizarrest thing. So you're like saying, oh, so this mission is pointless, not needed. But at the same time, you're trying to convince people to get it. If there's not just an issue that is behind a paywall. The issue is the price. Because you're paying for the game. And then if you want the uh, season pass to actually be able to play this one mission, by the way. It's not this big long, it's one additional mission for Jabba the Hutt. It's $40. That is crazy. $40. Which means it's £40 and €40. Euros because the price on the game stuff is literally the same across the board. If it's $70, then it's £70, €70. Euros. And here's the thing. When it comes to the actual game, the prices are ridiculous. But let's have a look at what Ubisoft's actual spokesperson said to clarify what is actually going on with this Jabba paywall mission. So it said this, an Ubisoft spokesperson has responded to these comments and others because people went online and blasted them out with telling IGN of all places. To clarify, Jabba the Hutt and the Hutt cartel are one of the main syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws and will be part of the experience for everyone who purchases the game regardless of edition. The Jabba the Hutt Gambit mission is an optional additional mission with the Hutt cartel along Kay and Nix's journey across the Outer Rim. This mission will be available to those who purchase the season pass or an edition of the game which includes the season pass. So they're telling you there, you will be playing with Jabba. But there is one additional mission that they want you to fork out 40 bucks for if you want to play. Or pay for the upgraded version of the game. And check this out. Here is the pricing of the game which also has people up in arms. So the standard game, which is just the base game and a pre-order bonus, is $70. The gold edition, which is your game, your pre-order bonuses, a three-day early access, and that season pass to give you that one, one extra mission, is $110. That's insane. Or buy yourself the ultimate edition, where you get Everything that we've just mentioned up to the season pass, including a rogue uh, infiltrator bundle, a something shark bundle, and digital art book. A digital art book, so nothing you physically own. That will cost you a whopping $130. That's insane. Where are they getting the prices for this crap? And then... Ubisoft is the company who's sitting there telling you, oh, by the way, you better get used to not owning your games. They want to take your money, but they don't actually want to sell you the game. They want you to essentially be renting the game. And if you didn't know, Ubisoft has just recently removed the game The Crew from people's accounts, which is ridiculous. So they're charging you 
from $70 up to $130 and then they're telling you be prepared not to own your games and this is for one mission in a game that they have Mam Solo a very attractive woman who they decided to uglify and the irony is as people have been pointing out you took this beautiful woman and you made her look like I've seen the best description as Billy from Stranger Things which is hilarious but you make the male characters look exactly like the male actor interesting why you've done that but promoting this game people start noticing a lot of hype on X that was essentially the same thing being said over and over just different accounts obviously bot accounts well something interesting has just happened because bot accounts promoting Star Wars Outlaws suspended by Elon Musk on X that's right people pointed it out going that's weird all these messages read the exact same thing but they seem to be from all different accounts Elon Musk has went oh their bot accounts gone <laughs> so this game it looks like it's going to struggle if the bot accounts are getting suspended people are going up yours to Ubisoft for their oh you want to play one additional job mission uh, yeah pay us either 40 dollars for the season pass or give us a hundred and ten dollars to a hundred and thirty dollars to play it whilst they're telling you you're not gonna own your own games yeah and the game has also been getting ratioed on both the star wars page and ubisoft's page on youtube so this game looks like it's doa the cope for it is ridiculous and the fact that Ubisoft are getting absolute roasted over their pricing and this season pass pay to play yeah it's not looking good for this so with that I shall leave it there for this one so like share subscribe all that good stuff and cheers till I catch you in the next one